It's prayer and time again. You should walk in. I'm Ricky McKinney, and um, I am 64 years old. I'm Jimmy Carter, and I don't tell my age. I've been even more, and I just turned 75. The Blind Love of Alabama started out in a little town in Alabama called Talladega. It was a school for the blind up there, and it was funded by the state of Alabama. And all of the blind children that got the education came to that school. So that's how the blind boys got together. That's how we got to know one another. And we started singing together, and we decided that we would try to make a living <coughs> at it. So as the years went by, <coughs> as the years went by, we sang together. And 1944, June the 10th, the blind boys of Alabama started out professionally. That's a short story. I think that I was born to do what I'm doing because I had five more brothers and all of them could see except me. So I wanted to, I, I asked God, why did he take my sight away and, give, and, and, and let my brothers keep theirs? But now I know why, because he's, this is what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to sing for him. He wanted me to. He wanted. He wanted me. He wanted to be glorified by me. Gospel music is the foundation of music. It started years years ago um, when the uh, I guess you would say when back in the day when the slaves were in the in the fields, it was their way of communicating to one another. It allowed them to know if if. Um, something was going on, if somebody was happy, if somebody was uh, having a baby, or whatever was going on, they can get that through song. So gospel music, traditional gospel music, is the root of all music, and it's just fair good music. We want people to know that um, no matter who you are, or where you come from, you're important, not just because of the color of your skin, but because of who you are. We all are children of the Lord. We all are under one umbrella. That's what it's all about. It's not about where you come from. It's about where you're going. And we want people also to know that by seeing the blind boys and what we do, that a disability didn't have to be a handicap because it's not about what you can't do that's important. It's about what you do. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. So that's what we try to put out there in our song. That we love the Lord and we love you. So. Oh yes, it's praying time again. You're